Hey, what up? My name's Aaron and I'm out here at Level Up Yoga and today we're gonna take it very, very easy. We're going to do a four pose yin yoga practice. It's gonna leave you feeling nice and relaxed, nice and balanced. And it's something that you can do kind of wherever you are really nice practice that you could do in bed just with a couple of pillows before you go to sleep or in the morning when you wake up yin yoga is something that i am super passionate about it's made a lot of big shifts in my life and i think it's really important that every now and then we take the time to slow down turn inwards kind of away from external stimulation and really just start to come back to ourselves come back to feeling into our own physical body so this is your chance to do just that for this practice you will need two blocks one bolster or a few pillows you can get creative I'm gonna roll the intro and I will see you on your mat. Our first shape today is going to be a butterfly. So you're going to start with your feet together, the soles of your feet together, your knees out wide. Now, where you place the feet is entirely up to you. Actually, every shape in yin yoga is entirely your own. So have a play around with taking your feet a little forward, a little closer into your hips, finding the space that works for your hips that's going to be comfortable and sustainable for the next few minutes if you're like me and your hips are quite tight you might like to place your blocks or some pillows underneath your legs just for a little bit of support so we don't end up overstretching our hips or our inner thighs essentially from here all you're going to do is fold over this isn't quite comfortable for you you're welcome to bring your bolster or a pillow in between your legs and fold down onto that otherwise you can prop your forehead up with a bolster you're just finding the shape that works for you stage one of yin yoga is to find that shape You can take as much time as you need to adjust. To wiggle into position. And once you have found your shape, your sustainable shape, you take the time to stop and become completely still. going to completely relax your physical body there's no need to try to force any of these shapes force any of these stretches the idea is to soften to surrender and allow gravity to work with your body to find your natural edge and over time as we hold in stillness our body will start to move beyond that natural edge if 
you really tune into your breath here, you'll notice that as you inhale, you're creating some space in your body. As you exhale, you can soften and move down into that space. <clears throat> Maybe you deepen the shape just a little bit on your exhale. Breathing nice and deep, nice and slow. Signaling to your body that it's time to relax. It's time to soften. Time to let go of the daily life. Let's do this. Now it's time for simply being. Sitting in stillness. We'll take five more full deep breaths. Last breath. As you exit the shape, I want you to do so very, very slowly. The exit is the most important part. Just being very, very gentle with your body. Firstly, sitting up. Our next shape will be a reclined butterfly. So your legs will stay in exactly the same place. If you have a bolster, you're gonna move that bolster behind you in line with your tailbone. If you have a pillow, maybe roll it up. Make sure you've got something that has a bit of size. And then very gently leaning yourself back to lay over your bolster or your pillow, whatever you have. Moving just as slow as the exit from butterfly. As you lay back, maybe you'd like to experiment with lengthening your arms out beside you maybe taking them above you, settling into the perfect shape for your unique body. Making as many adjustments as you need and then completely surrendering, softening into the shape that you've chosen. Breathing deeply into the belly. And setting the intention to stay still just for a couple of minutes. Setting the intention to do nothing. Just be here completely in your body, breathing slowly, deeply. Allowing yourself this space to recharge.
breathing deeply, softly. One thing you may notice in shapes like this, especially if your arms are spread wide, so you start to feel pins and needles or a tingling sensation. I want you to know that this is totally normal. It's kind of part of the process. The aim is simply to observe your body and the way in which it communicates with you. Our body is constantly trying to communicate things to us. Pain is just a communication of a problem in the body that's maybe gone a little bit too far. The term that I've heard used in yin yoga is therapeutic discomfort. So if this pose is not entirely comfortable for you, know that that is also okay. As long as you're not feeling pain. Pain can be described as a hot burning sensation or a sharp shooting sensation. Just laying here, watching the shifts that happen in your body. We'll again take five more breaths. Final breath here. Mm. For your exit, firstly you flip your palms to face the ground. Walk your hands down by your sides. Before you do anything else, I want you to use your arms to lift your knees back together. Coming up slowly, softly onto your elbow. Finding a seat. For laying down on your back. Lowering yourself down one vertebrae at a time. knowing that there's no rush in this practice. Take a few breaths, just laying on your back. Softening into the earth. And then drawing your right knee in towards your chest giving it a very very gentle squeeze you're going to use your left hand to guide your right knee across your body and landing on a block a bolster or possibly the floor beside you Extending your right arm out long, looking to the right. You might be feeling here a twisting sensation through your spine. Like your spine is a wet towel, you're trying to wring the water out of it. See if you can breathe 
deeply into your belly. Softening with each exhale. We won't stay here for too long. Really allow yourself to settle in. legs out long, come back to neutral with the spine, and drawing the left knee in towards your chest, and using the right hand to draw that knee across your body, landing on a bolster, a pillow or the floor beside you, extending your left arm out long beside you, settling, breathing, softening the body, see if you can relax your fingertips, relax your belly, relax your shoulders, your chest, your spine. Allowing this twist to slowly work at your digestive system. Massaging your organs. And ultimately allowing you to digest the experience of this practice. Take our final rebound, Shavasana. So you let both legs extend out long. Arms down by your side. Maybe you slightly tuck your shoulder blades under just a little, little bit. Start to fully surrender to the earth. recommendation is to pause this video here and give yourself at least five minutes to lay here. I'm going to give you ten more breaths.
starting to come back come back to your body come back to the space that you're in right now we're going to finish in a comfortable seat whatever works for you we'll finish with a pranayama technique pranayama is breath control it's called nadi shodana and the idea is to balance the flow of oxygen through the nostrils to balance our being so you're going to take your index finger and your middle finger on your right hand to touch your palm your right thumb is going to close off your right nostril you inhale through your left nostril. Pause at the top. Close off the left nostril. Exhale through the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. Pause. Exhale through the left nostril. Inhale through the left nostril. Pause. Exhale through the right nostril. In through the right. Pause, exhale through the left. Take two more rounds, inhale left. Pause, exhale right. Inhale right. Pause. Exhale left. Inhale left. Pause. Exhale right. Inhale right. Pause. Exhale left. Releasing the hand, placing on your knee. Big deep breath through both nostrils. And out through both nostrils. Feeling the balance. In through both. Out through both. Thank you so much for joining me to practice today. I hope that you are feeling as relaxed as I am because I feel <laughs> really relaxed. <laughs> um, if you got something out of this video, please leave a comment, share it, share it with a friend. Tell someone how you feel right now. Um, share it on Instagram, spread the love and hopefully I'll see you soon.